we were we were in Colossians, you know, we were in verse three. And four, four, at least anyone with persuasive words. And then you, you read something like that, and then it brings up all these other topics. Uh, it was like Jenny and I, on the break, we talked, like when I was talking about that, you're not vulnerable to the world you live in, and there's redemption, we're studying a fallen man, and we're saying this has to be the way it is for me. Uh, menstrual cycles we talked about. We really did, on the break. And, uh, and, uh, and menopause. And see, that becomes scientific. That becomes... That's all of a sudden everybody has to have this and go through this. And you're set up. The stage is set for you to go through all that in the world. And wonder if in your precious, I was going to say little woman of God heart, big woman of God heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wonder if you just settle that, wait a minute, none of that's my creative value. None of that's in my lineage. None of that's waiting for me. I have no man on earth called no man my father. I, my heritage, my bloodline, my genetics go back to the beginning before man ever ate the tree when father said, let us make man in our image. And I don't believe Eve before the tree was destined for all this stuff. Because all of a sudden it begins to be, and it's not something you contend for and strive for and pray towards. It's just something you see. And you believe it and you go, whoa, wait a minute. I am not in any way in that line. This is not my heritage. I'm not going through that. If you're a young lady and every month you've been just struggling bad and it's been your reality, it makes it hard sometimes it seems to just... But the deal is saying, wait a minute. I don't have to pray my way through this. This isn't even who I am. This is... You didn't make me this way, God. This, this came through the tree. I'm as if I've never eaten the tree. And there's a place, there's a couple people that I could introduce you to that had babies and didn't feel anything. Because they believe that. Oh, that's fun. For any woman that had a child, you would say that would be fun. <laughs> I know people personally that had over the years, there's so many testimonies. Terrible menstrual stuff, paralyzing, crippling stuff. And all of a sudden, they got a revelation that, wait a minute, this isn't in my, this isn't the order of the day. And all of a sudden, they're not even on anything for that. It doesn't even come anymore. In fact, if you be humble, right now, this is my spirit, and you suffer that way monthly as a woman, stand to your feet. We're just going to establish something right now. Stand to your feet. Don't be embarrassed. That's awesome. Stand to your feet. Be, be bold. It's, see, because it's nothing to be ashamed about. When you stand up, you're saying, hey, this is not who I am. This has been my experience, but you know what? I'm bold enough to stand up and say, wait a minute. There's more to my created value than this. This is not who I am. So it's not about, oh, you're going through that? No. It's about saying, no, today I'm making a declaration that, wait a minute, I wasn't created for this. It's not something I have to contend and cry out and pray and confess over my body. I'm going to stand and affirm that, you know what? This is not who I am. I'm going to, by faith, lay it aside and I'm receiving today a new identity and destiny in this area of my life. Fair enough? So, Father, right now I thank you that these women stand and we all thank you, God. That they were not created for pains, cramps, to be capsized, paralyzed, captivated <laughs> once a month. And then all of a sudden expect that. I thank you that you created them for your glory. You created them in your image. You created them for your good pleasure. And I thank you these symptoms of mental cycling, cramping, pains, nausea, whatever it might be, bloating, have nothing to do with who they are and who you created them to be. The fact that Eve ever ate that tree, that Adam ever ate that tree, has been made null and void. We stand before you as if we've never eaten the tree. And there is redemption for these ladies. And we speak it over their bodies. And we thank you, Father, right now for the redemption of their being right now. And we thank you and rejoice today that every day for the rest of their life will be different because of your goodness and your grace and we just thank you that there's an alignment and a normal flow the way Eve was before that tree was ever eaten will be their experience in Jesus name we bless you ladies amen amen thanks for being humble to stand <laughs> Got one in the back. She was excited about that. She was like, yes. <laughs> She's like, I'm taking that. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I was looking at her calendar. Come on, let's get there. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Almost there, baby. <laughs> I'm having fun with you guys. <laughs>
Ah. But the whole menopause thing too. You know, because people say that. It's just the language. It's natural knowledge because it's everybody's going through it. So you expect it. And then you say, well, you know how it is. Well, I'm going through that. Blah, 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 blah. And then if somebody talks like I'm talking, it's heard as high-minded. Or super hypo-spiritual or something. Well, no, why, not just, why not just settle in your heart? Hey, come on. You got every, every male in your family that goes through something at a certain age. And then you expect it. And the only reason you're praying right up on that age is because you're afraid you're next. At what point do you say, Father, I thank you that I'm not subject to anything that's followed my generations, the heritage of my family lineage. I am not subject to any curse. I am blessed by you. I am not in fear of this thing. And I thank you that I am a brand new creature. The man that was in line for that has died already. And there's a brand new man that lives. And I thank you for the freedom you've brought to my life. And you never pray about it again. I'm telling you, that'll change your life. I, 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 I saw a man that all the males in their family died of heart disease by a very young age. And, and I told him, and this was a long time ago, I wasn't saved that long, I was just pastoring. And so this is 14 years ago. I said, don't you go praying all summer because you're about to hit that age. That's fear. I said, you lift your hands and thank God that you're not in line. And then don't you ever pray again. And just thank Him that you're free. That's good. There's a whole lot of stuff like that. People, well, that's in my, well, that's my family. Well, yeah, but my grandmom and my mom. So, and this is around the age. And, and we, we accept it. No, you're not in line. In the bloodline of Jesus. Amen? And it's, that's not high-minded. Cynical people, people that don't understand, have a field day with what I'm preaching. Because they don't understand. They'll mock and scoff what they don't understand. That's called human pride. If you don't understand, probably ought to get understanding. Okay. <laughs> For though I'm absent in the flesh, verse 5, yet I'm with you in the Spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. Saying this, I believe by the Spirit of God. Guys, it's as if we've never done it. As long as our hearts are sincere, all He asks is repentance. That we wish different. We wish we'd have done different. Regret would eat us alive. You could never pay the debt. You could never go back and make it right once it's done. But you can change on the inside and you can say, Wow, I wish I'd have done different. And God says, Bingo, done. You've just changed. So, Father, thank you for the gospel. Thank you that it's getting in us, transforming us, and becoming who we are. And from this place, we will live our life and bear fruit unto you. In Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Amen. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. I'm out of here. Don't get in my way. I'll run you over. Bless you all. <laughs> yeah, then we'll talk about it tomorrow.